What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we're back with. DK. And what do we got today, Dylan? An Alaska Airlines 7, Boeing 737 900, not ER, just normal 900. Yes, yeah, really cool model that he has here. Again, thank you for letting us review this one. Excited to take a look at this, and we have uh, some interesting stories to go along with this aircraft. So we'll go ahead and take it off and get to the most normal part of the aircraft that still has some uh, differences. That's going to be the box. A uh, pretty standard box here, wouldn't you say, Dylan? Not too much to report on, I would say. I would agree. Very nice. Would you mind getting that pin over there? I left on yeah. the table. That was my fault. Sorry. But very cool box right here, and it is a 2009 release, is it? 2009 release so this is the original now i have the 2012 13 whichever year that came out so really cool to have 2009 unfortunately two uh, deficiencies with the box number one the corners cut off i don't think he knew about it when he bought it off ebay number two it's also missing the top plastic which i don't know if he knew about that either but um <laughs> nevertheless uh I've still got in good condition i had to work on it a little bit so here's what happened all right so before dylan went to oshkosh for the summer of 2023 he sent this to my po box because uh he was not going to be here at the time that it was delivered I said all right cool so i roll up one day in the spring here it is by the way we rolled up one day and unfortunately it came as a, in pieces so both main landing gear were broke off. The nose landing gear was broke off and unfindable. So that explains what we have going on there. I think even the tail snapped off. Was there any, uh, some? I thought the only problem with it was that the nose wheel was broke. Yeah, the nose wheel was broke. The main landing gear were off. I think an engine was off. And then this nose landing gear door snapped yeah. in half. So what I ended up doing is I spent a bunch of time gluing this back together. It was very challenging, but luckily we got it fixed. I also put an NG nose gear on it because we could not find the nose landing gear from Gemini. So that's what we have here. And I thought it came out looking pretty good. So here's the model. Also, at least this guy sent a stand. That was nice of him. Yeah. He sent the dragon wing stand. So yeah, overall looking good. And let's go ahead and take a look at the model and we'll talk about the full details. So let's go ahead and get started. Do you want to do this one or do you want me to do it? I need to show you. All right, I, Dylan's done the last couple. So I'll go ahead and throw him a bone and I'll do this one. All right. And since uh, all we've been doing is Dylan's models lately, might as well bounce it out. All right, here's the nose cone right here. It looks really good. Uh, again, this is the older Gemini Jets mold. You got the cockpit windows right here. So again, like I said, this nose landing gear door snapped. So I had to glue that back together. I know there's a big gap there, but it's really challenging to get enough glue to hold that small of a piece in the correct position. So that was the best we could do there. Again, nose landing gear is from an NG. It's a prior 2019 NG, so it's a little bit tall, but it still looks pretty good. I'll put it on the ground here in a second. You have the green cheat line along with the black cheat line here. Here's the L1 door and then some titles about uh, complimenting Alaska. Here's the Alaska Airlines billboard titles right here. You got your first class. Again, this is a non-ER like Dylan said, so very cool to note that as it's a standard 737-900, but it does have winglets. Uh, you got the CFM 56 is there too, so those certainly look nice here on this Gemini mold. You got the emergency exit right there too. Uh, you, uh, one of the most interesting parts, in my opinion, is how you don't have this emergency exit door right here, so very cool to see that. You also have the wing here, which looks nice. You got the wing root. The various components of that here's a nice little stand up as you can see again you have the winglets which is really interesting to see a 900 you'd almost mistake for 800 not having that emergency exit but 737 900 and you can see there with the various details so that looks very nice uh the main wing there also looks really good you got the main landing gear there as well so that looks fantastic and the over overwing exit then you got the uh, back part here. The cheat lines continue. It's a very simple livery. You got the registration here. November 315 Alpha Sierra, one of the first 737-900s in the Alaska Airlines fleet. There's Chester himself. I think he's looking better nowadays than he, what he was here, but um, he's, he's making a reference for sure. Uh, he looked pretty rough on the md 80 so glad they uh, got him boosted up here. And as of late on their newest aircraft, he's looking really good. Rep to the Alaska 321neo, no doubt though. Uh, the right side of the aircraft is also very standard. Uh, this nose landing gear door does look good, so that's certainly a positive. Again, I had the glue in those nose landing, uh, the main landing gear rather. That turned out well. Got the CFMs. I really like how level and proportional the aircraft is. I'll go ahead and throw it up so we can see the top and bottom. Top, very simple, not too much to it. Looks very nice though. In the bottom of the aircraft, again, you got the Gemini logo, all those various attributes. Looks really nice, and they did a very good job. Again, 2009 release, so solid mold, and with the nose landing gear, I think it looks kind of cool for different. I'll take it off the stand so you can see how it looks on the ground with the landing gear adjustment. I did the best I could on it. It took, honestly, like 30 minutes to get it exactly the, to the best place that I could, so I'm throwing it around here so you can see. Sure, it is a little bit tall, but ultimately, I think it turned out really good considering that uh, where it started, it was a pretty rough... Uh, Pretty rough project uh, when we first got it, but ultimately now it looks pretty good, I would argue. So Dylan, any additional thoughts or what do you think about the model? Um, despite all the defects, it is a rare model for these days, so we're happy to have it. 
And you got it on eBay for $30, is that uh, right? Somewhere around there, yeah. So it was an absolute steal. So. Yeah, it's a very good deal that he got. So again, despite the deficiencies, certainly got a great deal on it and certainly cannot disrespect that drip. So nice pickup here, Dylan. Thank you for letting us review it once again. And any final thoughts before we conclude this video? Very good. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really want to thank you all so much for watching. My name is Shredder of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust process. Do you love and love you do. My name is Shredder of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Shredder of Aviation is signing off.